After initially fighting the tide, Knesset Speaker and Likud MK Yariv Levine promising to advance the vote of confidence for the new government on Monday, by Monday. And this meaning that the actual vote will likely be held by around Monday, June 14th in one week's time. Still, this means that a week remains before a new coalition can be officially approved and sworn in, and a lot can happen in seven days. For one, pressure on members of the would-be coalition to defect already rising higher and higher, with several MKs and their families, including young children, claiming to be protested against, followed, and harassed on a near-constant basis. Top right-wing religious and nationalist leaders urging followers to, quote, do everything to thwart the new government. Prime Minister Netanyahu's son, Yair, even getting banned again from social media, this time for sharing the home address of Yamina MK, Nir Orbach, in a post calling for protest. All this and more then prompting a rare warning from Shin Bet chief Nadav Argaman, who states that the agency has recently identified a rise in increasingly extreme violent and inciting discourse, particularly on social networks, which may be interpreted among certain groups or individuals as permission for violence and illegal activity that may even cause physical harm. Joining me now with more, Israeli attorney, author, and journalist, Ben Dror Yamini. Ben Dror, thank you so much for being with us again. Now, I want to start with the incitement because it's reminiscent of the days leading up to Rabin's assassination, and I'm far from the only person to make that uh, uh, connection. Are Israel's political leaders doing enough to prevent political violence? No, no, they don't. Just the opposite, actually. I mean, when you hear uh, the tone, it's not the words many times, it's not. But when you hear uh, a chief rabbi uh, who is uh, telling uh, <coughs> to his, <coughs> to his uh, supporters that they should do everything that they can, um, for some of them, it means something. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, but for some of them, it means something. For some of them, it means the meaning is uh, everything. I mean, literally everything. So it's quite, uh, it's quite... Um, well, so what, what do you say uh, to... Delicate... What, what do you say to religious leaders who are saying that it's understood that to do everything excludes violence because it's against Torah law? Is, is that not obvious? I will tell you, I will tell you that yes, they are right. Most of them will understand that it doesn't mean violence. Most of them, the majority, high majority. You don't need more than very few that will understand something else. And the big question is, do we have uh, those few who might understand something else? Yes, we have. Yes, we have, of course, because, you know, in every community, in every society, you have this kind of extreme, extreme left, extreme, extreme right, and they are listening. And for them, it's a kind, kind of legitimization for violence. All right, now again, I want to denounce any calls for violence and harassment against anyone, least of all elected officials. But let's discuss now some of the criticisms that have been levied against these individuals in the change block. The latest letter by right-wing rabbis saying that this government is entirely against the will of the people as it will harm matters of security and of our very existence. Uh, speaking specifically about Meretz and Ram's comments on supporting ICC investigations, accusing Israel of war crimes, sitting with terrorists in the past, uh, as Ram and MKs have done. Are any of these perceived threats based in material fact? What, you know, what are in the deals so far that we know about that, that are upsetting the right-wing factions so much? Um, actually, we don't know. We don't really know. I mean, uh, yes, of course, there are some concessions, uh, just like what is happening in every uh, uh, negotiation of the kind uh, in order to form a coalition, in order to form a government. It's something which which was uh, uh, understood uh, from the beginning. And let me tell you, let's not forget the fact that actually Benjamin Netanyahu himself offered Ra'am and the leader of um, Mansour Abbas uh, everything that he will be offered by the other side, by the change, by the change block. Uh, so why he is complaining? Why he is saying that uh, that Israel is giving up to the Arabs or to the Muslims or whatever? I mean, this is a kind of hypocrisy. We know exactly that you, Mr. Netanyahu, wanted to give them everything, just everything. And now you are complaining that they received something. We don't even know what did they receive. And they received much less, much less, not much more than what Benjamin Netanyahu himself uh, promised him. So, yet he is he is inciting his followers in order to uh, fail in one way or another uh, the upcoming vote uh, for the new uh, government. All right, Ben Yamini, thank you so much for your insights.
Thank you for having me.